Okay, so it's news to you as well, Linda. All right, so yeah, I guess, you know what? <laughs> this video, it's funny. I guess this didn't really need to happen, but maybe it's like a, a kind of a re affirmation that at least our power to delay them another six days has followed through. So if we can find other ways to just keep showing up. Um, all right, I, I think... Well, you know what? I did have a little bit of something else to say and a totally other pipeline, but not totally unrelated. The South Jersey gas pipeline. Here, I'll flip it around. Um, hi. The, the South Jersey gas pipeline is um, not yet built, but um, there's expectations that construction could happen at any point because they did vote affirmatively the Pinelands um, Commission, that is, so um, I won't be doing walks along pipelines, um, but to speed up the process, I was thinking I'm going to start running at least this pipeline, the South Jersey gas pipeline. It's 22 miles long. I am training for a marathon anyways. Um, so I thought it made perfect sense instead of going to random races and just training on my own to do it with the, um, yeah, thanks, Gene. Thank you for, for putting that in, in words, all right? Because I don't know if anybody wants to listen to my whole dialogue. So, um, yes, it has been rescheduled to September 14th. So hopefully the people that couldn't make it on the 8th, because a lot of people are teachers uh, are involved in education, and that's the first week of school, maybe the second week of school will be a little more possible. Um, but getting to the South Jersey gas pipeline, I'm, I'm not positive, but October 1st, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a run along the pipeline. It's 22 miles, um, probably plus a little bit, because um, I can't run along certain portions of the pipeline. So that's the South Jersey gas pipeline, which um, I would like to run on it, uh, because who knows when they're going to start actually construction and destroying the land and threatening the aquifer right below which is one thing that i think really needs to be stressed with these fights is that there's super pristine water right below uh where they're building these pinelands pipelines and that um doesn't have a voice we have to be that voice we have to realize that fresh water keeps us alive and keeps us healthy and anything like horizontal drilling that could threaten it should not be allowed by us it's up to us to protect it um and so my way of raising awareness is to walk and to run. So I'm going to run the pipeline. It's looking like October 1st, which is a Sunday. And hopefully the media can get involved a little bit too. Um, we will see though. But uh, to reaffirm, um, I'm going back down. I'm in, sorry, I'm reading. I'm easily distracted. Like and my one crazy stuff. It was about standing. Thank you, Linda. I didn't realize you were involved in Standing Rock, too. So you've got quite a bit of experience with these battles. So definitely, as much as you can share information and um, bring your own creative spin into this fight, uh, we need we need all the help we can get. We're up against powerful but not indomitable foes. So I'm going to flip the screen back around. And this event... So hopefully when Citizens Media reposts this, they could even edit what I wrote yeah, um, for my description and call it September 14th uh, event, the reschedule of the September 8th event to September 14th. So uh, I think this can be, though, um, very unambiguously them saying... Uh, that they will be voting on the SRL, that they pushed it back six days, which is probably five business days, enough to get it past the 15-day hurdle. So they did heed the words of the, um, of the um, lawyers representing the Pinelands Preservation Alliance. So they definitely do plan on doing a vote. So... Next Thursday, so we have, what is that, nine days, all right? As many of us as can show up is important. And if they vote to approve the pipeline, we need to make sure that they are shameful, those who passed it. And I personally would also like to offer commendations, depending um, if we're allowed to speak, to those who voted down the pipeline and to remind them that we appreciate their voting no and doing the right thing 
and maybe they will start to rise up and delay the pipe and find out ways because it's not a linear battle. We can make it as dynamic as we want. It's not just the law. Things are pushed at through very illegally with this whole process and, and outside of legality and in the fuzzy gray areas. Laws have not saved us yet. They're not saving our forests. They, they're being dismantled. Treaties didn't save the Native Americans. All right. So we just have to show up in force and really do what we need to do for the land because we're nothing without the land. So once again, September 14th is the big day. It's at 9.30. They love having these meetings during the workday so less people will show up. But despite that, let's show up and show them that we really care about the Pinelands, about New Jersey, and the future of the planet. Okay, so I think I can sign off. This is not Carlos Carlos. I'm reporting from my car, but at least I'm using it as a studio as well. Um, it's a good office. It's not really that good, but I have used it as an office before. So, um, yeah, that's all. I uh, appreciate those of you who, who tuned in, and we'll take it as a good sign six days more. Um, we'll take what we can get. We're just got to keep delaying it, maybe delay it into winter. Maybe by then the new governor, if there's new appointees, they could undo the vote. Um, I wouldn't see why not. I think that's something that we should be prepared to push the new Pinelands um, com commissioners into is saying there was this vote it was wrong you have the power to do it even if it's unprecedented take away what uh, the Pinelands Commission did last year in 2017 so this is 2018 it's a new year take away these awful votes including the South Jersey gas yeah cars do make good offices they're, they're sound sound barriers I do have the window opens a little too hot but um, yeah, so uh, they also make good solar ovens. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to cook something, um, your car gets so hot, you could cook something in your car and say we run out of gas or there's some kind of emergency, they still have another use. So maybe one day the only thing we'll use cars for is for ovens uh, and not for driving, which uh, those of you who've been following me know I'm quite against. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end this now. Appreciate it. Bye. Keep fighting. I will be. Join me. Join us.